Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine.com and I'm showing you today the Allo Clip. It's a two lens adapter for your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. We're going to do that next. I'm in beautiful downtown Madison, Wisconsin, my hometown, and of course the shot of the state of Wisconsin capital here. I'm going to be showing you this, and I'm going to be going across the lake and showing you a more of an iconic picture you might have seen in books of the city, uh, city line and that. So anyway, we're going to show you this little this little thing right here. It's called the Allo Clip. I, of course, can't show it to you because I'm using it. I'm using it in the fish eye mode. We've got two uh, two lenses that flip back and forth and they go over the selfie camera as well as the uh, the back camera there. We got a fish eye on one side and we've got a telephoto lens on the other side and I'm going to show you the differences on that and how that can help you make some great shots for some of your movies or videos just like this. First of all, this is the Allo Clip right here. It comes with two different lenses. One's a telephoto lens, the other one's a fisheye lens. So it makes a bigger, one makes more close up. And I'm gonna show you, of course, those uh, those videos as we go from there. Also, what, come, what it comes with is a clip case. So, this is, so you can put on a, uh, you can hook it up on the side of your bag or something like that. Basically, let me see if I can do this with one hand. You basically just flip it off like that. Then of course you have this clip right here where you can put the Allo clip back on when you don't need it. And then like I said, it's got an easy clip area for uh, however you want to hang it. Maybe hang it into your car, maybe hang it on your bag or, or whatever. The Allo clip for itself, it's, it's for iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. And now uh, how this basically works is there's a little insert that you put into here for this between the 6 and the 6 Plus. I have a very special uh, front cover on my iPhone 6 so I had to take that piece out for this to work but it definitely works with uh, with a glass overlay and of course with the yellow case and it comes with a case that lets you easily slip this on and it puts it right into place so you don't have to fidget and you don't have to worry about getting lines or faded you know blurred corners or something like that because the lens is getting in the way this is with the fisheye lens this is the same video, close with the uh, telephoto lens. No lens at all. This is no lens, but zoomed at maximum on the iPhone. Maximum zoom on iPhone 6 at 240 frames a second. Maximum zoom with telephoto lens at 240 frames a second. Lots of shaking. Maximum view fisheye at 240 frames a second. This is everything that the Allo Clip comes with. Let's zoom in a little bit. Of course, we have the Allo Clip itself with the two attachments. Um, we've got two uh, two covers right there. We've got the clip, like I talked about. Actually, there's uh, you get like three clips, if I remember correct, um, where you can hook up uh, something like a keychain or a carabiner or something like that. This is the little insert that I was talking about if you have an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. If it doesn't fit on your phone, try taking that out. This will actually be inside here. Oops, inside here. Um, and you can pop that in, you can take it out. So if your uh, if your Allo Clip's not fitting on your iPhone, take that little thing out or put it in and uh, see if that makes a difference. And of course, a nice little carrying case for you. So this is the whole thing, the Allo Clip and all the accessories. Great stuff.
uh, some wish lists that I have for, well, not as much for the Isla Clip for the iPhone 6. You know, I record at 1080p, 60 frames a second. I wish the iPhone would have that functionality in the front face camera or then the rear face camera. Although with the re rear camera, I, all I have to do is record in 120 frames a second and set it down to 60 um, when I go into my post production. Other than that, you know, you could make some pretty cool movies. You could do some great close up work. You could do some great fisheye work and then of course get it into post-production take out that fisheye look and uh, and have a really great shot or multiple shots for whatever project you are doing whether it's making a movie or just making a youtube video or podcast like i do over at geekazine.com and that's this video thanks a lot for watching jeffrey powers here with geekazine think magazine put in a geek and uh, check it all out and you guys geek out we'll see you at the next one take care